What if the weakest part of your erection isn't your testosterone, but the water you're drinking wrong every single day? Hello, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Mika Hayashi, a urologist with over a decade of experience helping men over 50 restore their erectile function naturally. Today, I'm revealing something shocking. Research shows that even 2% dehydration can reduce blood flow efficiency by 15%, that means the way you're drinking water right now could be quietly destroying your erections, and you don't even know it. This isn't about drinking more water. Most men already drink plenty. This is about drinking water strategically at specific times, in specific ways, that transform ordinary hydration into a powerful erection-boosting tool. Before we dive in, hit that like button right now, comment below where you're watching from, and subscribe so you never miss critical health strategies for men over 50. Now, let me show you exactly what's happening inside your body. Listen, an erection is fundamentally a hydraulic event. Your body needs to pump significant blood volume into your penis and trap it there under pressure. When you're dehydrated, even mildly, three catastrophic things happen inside your body that kill erectile function. First, your blood thickens dramatically. Blood plasma is over 90% water. When you're dehydrated, plasma volume decreases and your blood becomes viscous, almost like sludge. Studies confirm that when dehydrated, blood volume can decrease, leading to reduced blood flow to the penis and consequently temporary erectile dysfunction. Think about trying to pump thick sludge through narrow pipes versus pumping water. Your heart has to work exponentially harder to move thickened blood through small capillaries, especially the tiny vessels in your penis. Poor flow equals weak erections. It's that direct. Second, dehydration triggers hormonal chaos. When your body senses water shortage, it releases angiotensin, a hormone that constricts blood vessels. This tightening elevates blood pressure and reduces blood flow everywhere, including to your penis. Your body also increases cortisol, your primary stress hormone. Chronically dehydrated men have 10% to 15% lower testosterone levels than properly hydrated men. Cortisol and testosterone exist in an inverse relationship. When cortisol rises, testosterone crashes. Lower testosterone means reduced libido and weaker erectile function. Third, your body enters survival mode. When resources are scarce, your body makes executive decisions. It prioritizes functions critical for immediate survival, like maintaining blood pressure and protecting vital organs. Functions it considers non-essential, like sexual response, libido, and erectile capability, get shut down completely. Your body is literally saying, we don't have enough resources to run everything, so we're closing the luxury departments. Your erection is the first thing to go. One patient, 57 years old, complained of progressively weaker erections over six months. His testosterone was normal. His cardiovascular health was decent. But when we tracked his hydration, he was chronically drinking less than four glasses of water daily, mostly coffee and diet soda. Within three weeks of proper strategic hydration, his morning erections returned stronger than they'd been in years. Dehydration is silent, progressive, and absolutely devastating to erectile function. If this surprises you, hit that like button and drop a comment below. Mistake number one, gulping instead of sipping. Here's the biggest hydration mistake killing your erections, waiting until you're thirsty, then chugging a massive glass of water all at once. The problem? Your body can only absorb limited amounts of water at one time. When you flood your system with large volumes, most of it passes straight through your kidneys and gets eliminated as urine within an hour. You're essentially flushing money down the toilet. It's like pouring a bucket of water on dry, compacted soil. Most of it runs off the sides instead of soaking in. The solution is strategic sipping.
Small, consistent sips throughout the entire day allow your cells to actually absorb and utilize the water. This keeps your blood volume stable, your plasma fluid, and your circulation optimal. Here's the exact protocol. Keep a water bottle with you constantly. Take three to four small sips every 15 to 20 minutes. Don't wait for thirst. Thirst is an alarm bell telling you you're already dehydrated. By the time you feel thirsty, your blood has already thickened, your blood vessels have already constricted, and your erectile function has already declined. One patient started using a water bottle with time markers. Every hour, he'd check to make sure he'd reached that hour's hydration goal through small, consistent sips. Within two weeks, he reported dramatically stronger morning erections and better performance during intimacy, he said. I never realized I was chronically dehydrated my entire adult life. Sip consistently. Never gulp reactively. Comment below. Are you a gulper or a sipper? Mistake number two. Drinking ice cold water. Most men love ice cold water, especially in warmer weather. But for optimal absorption and circulation, cold water is actually counterproductive. Here's why. When you drink very cold water, it temporarily constricts blood vessels in your digestive system. Your body has to divert energy to warm that water to body temperature before it can be absorbed efficiently. This slows everything down. Room temperature or slightly cool water is absorbed much faster and more completely. Your digestive system doesn't have to work against temperature shock. The water moves into your bloodstream quickly, increasing plasma volume and improving circulation immediately. The difference might seem small, but over weeks and months, this optimization compounds dramatically. Try this experiment. Drink a large glass of ice-cold water and notice how your body feels. Then the next day, drink the same amount of room-temperature water. Pay attention to how quickly your body processes it. You'll feel the difference. One patient who'd been drinking ice water exclusively for decades switched to room-temperature water. Within 10 days, he noticed he wasn't urinating as frequently, meaning his body was actually absorbing and using the water instead of flushing it out immediately. His energy improved, and his erectile function followed. Temperature matters more than you think. Mistake number three, drinking large amounts with meals. Many men drink a full glass of water with every meal, thinking it aids digestion. The opposite is actually true. Drinking large amounts of water during meals dilutes your stomach acid and digestive enzymes. This makes it harder for your body to break down food and absorb critical nutrients, including zinc, magnesium, and other minerals essential for testosterone production and erectile function. The optimal strategy is the 30 to 30 rule. Hydrate about 30 minutes before you eat. This prepares your digestive system. Then wait about 30 minutes after your meal before drinking significant water again. This allows your stomach acid to work at full strength, maximizing nutrient absorption. Small sips during a meal are fine, but avoid chugging a full glass while you're eating. One patient who'd been drinking two glasses of water with every meal switched to this protocol. Within a month, his digestion improved noticeably, his energy levels stabilized, and his testosterone test showed a measurable increase. Better nutrient absorption supported better hormonal function. Timing matters as much as quantity. Mistake number four, ignoring electrolyte balance. This is critical and almost nobody talks about it. Water alone isn't enough for optimal hydration. Your body needs electrolytes, particularly sodium, potassium, and magnesium, to actually pull water from your digestive tract into your cells. Without electrolytes, you can drink gallons of water and still be functionally dehydrated at the cellular level. Here's the game-changing morning routine. When you wake up, you're naturally dehydrated from going hours without water. Your first glass should contain a tiny pinch of natural sea salt or Himalayan pink salt. This isn't about making your water taste salty. You're adding trace minerals that act as electrolytes, 
helping shuttle water deep into your cells instead of just passing through your system. The difference is profound. Within 20 to 30 minutes, you'll feel genuinely hydrated at a cellular level, not just full of liquid. One patient started adding a small pinch of sea salt to his morning water. He told me, within a week, my morning brain fog disappeared, my energy stabilized, and my morning erections became consistently strong again. I didn't realize I'd been dehydrated for years despite drinking plenty of plain water. Electrolytes are the missing piece most men ignore. Stick with me because the next strategy is the most powerful. Mistake number five, not compensating for diuretics. Here's something critical most men don't realize. Coffee, caffeinated tea, and alcohol are diuretics. They force your kidneys to flush out more water than the liquid itself provides. That morning coffee isn't hydrating you, it's creating a water deficit your body has to make up for. Same with your evening beer or glass of wine. The compensation rule is simple. For every cup of coffee, add one extra glass of water to your daily total. For every alcoholic drink, add two glasses of water. Most men drink two to three cups of coffee daily and maybe one to two alcoholic drinks. That's four to seven extra glasses of water needed just to break even, before accounting for normal hydration needs. When you don't compensate, you're chronically dehydrated without realizing it. Your blood thickens, your circulation declines, and your erectile function suffers progressively. One patient was drinking four cups of coffee daily and two glasses of wine, nightly but only three glasses of water. He was in a massive hydration deficit. After we calculated his real needs and he started compensating properly, his erectile function improved within two weeks, he said. I thought I was drinking plenty. I was actually severely dehydrated. Compensate for every diuretic, non-negotiable. Let me give you the exact daily protocol that optimizes hydration for maximum erectile function. Morning, immediately upon waking, Drink 12 to 16 ounces of room temperature water with a tiny pinch of sea salt. This jumpstarts cellular hydration after overnight dehydration. Throughout the day, sip water consistently every 15 to 20 minutes. Keep a bottle with you constantly. Aim for at least 8 to 10 glasses total. More if you exercise or live in hot climates. Before meals, hydrate 30 minutes before eating. This prepares your digestive system without diluting stomach acid. During meals, small sips only. Avoid chugging full glasses. After meals, wait 30 minutes before resuming normal hydration. Compensate for diuretics. Add one glass of water for every coffee, two glasses for every alcoholic drink. Evening, about 90 minutes before bed, have your final significant hydration. This prevents waking up multiple times to urinate while ensuring you're not dehydrated overnight. Temperature, room temperature or slightly cool, never ice cold. Electrolytes, add a pinch of salt to at least one glass daily, preferably morning. Follow this protocol consistently for three to four weeks. Most men notice significantly stronger morning erections within the first two weeks, improved responsiveness during arousal within three weeks, and sustained erectile improvements by week four. One patient followed this exact protocol. At his six-week follow-up, he reported the strongest, most consistent erections he'd had in over five years. His energy was stable throughout the day, his mood improved, and his confidence returned. He told me, I spent thousands on supplements and medications, the answer was water done right. This protocol works because it addresses hydration at every critical point, blood volume, electrolyte balance, hormonal function, and cellular absorption. Gentlemen, here's what you need to understand. Erectile dysfunction after 50 is often a circulation problem. And circulation depends fundamentally on proper hydration. Even 2% dehydration reduces blood flow efficiency by 15%. Chronic dehydration thickens your blood, 
triggers angiotensin release that constricts vessels, elevates cortisol that crushes testosterone, and puts your body in survival mode that shuts down erectile function. The five critical mistakes most men make are gulping instead of sipping consistently, drinking ice-cold water instead of room temperature, drinking large amounts with meals instead of timing properly, ignoring electrolytes, and failing to compensate for diuretics like coffee and alcohol. The complete protocol is simple but powerful. Morning salt water, consistent sipping throughout the day, proper meal timing, compensation for diuretics, room temperature water, and electrolyte balance. This isn't complicated. It's strategic, and it works. Starting tomorrow morning, implement this complete protocol. Track your morning erections, your energy levels, your arousal response. Within two to four weeks, you'll notice real, measurable improvements. If this video helped you, hit that like button right now. Comment below and tell me, which mistake were you making? And subscribe for more science-backed strategies for men over 50. I'm Dr. Mika Hayashi. Your erectile health depends on fundamentals done correctly. Hydration is one of the most powerful tools you have. Drink strategically. Your erections will thank you.